In 2002, the Department for Transport introduced hazard perception into the driving test. It was designed to test a driver's ability to spot potential dangers in the road. Lauren passed first time, but does this mean she's a good driver? Dr. David Crundle is a cognitive psychologist. He's designed a simulator that tests in a realistic way the ability of drivers to respond to hazards. The helmet that she's wearing allows us to monitor her eye movements and you can see um, a orange circle that appears on the main screen showing us just exactly what she's looking at while she's driving. Dr. Crundle's research has shown that while experienced drivers scan the road, young drivers have tunnel vision where they only see what's in front of them. What's also apparent is that young drivers have problems with certain types of hazards. If you see somebody on the pavement who's about to step out, we would say that you're trying to predict the behaviour of that person. Whereas if from behind a van somebody suddenly steps out, you cannot see that person beforehand, so you're not basing it on prediction of that person's behaviour. Instead you have to use your own, what we call a mental model of the situation, which experienced drivers will have uh, developed quite well. And that mental model will tell them that whenever you see a van, there is always the potential for somebody to step out from behind it who was previously obscured. So how has Lauren done? There were certain periods of the drive um, where Lauren was definitely um, restricting her vision to a very small area um, in the uh, immediate to the immediate front of her vehicle and that was um, particularly obvious with some of the crashes that she had where the hazards were coming in from the side. The simulator has also shown Lauren that there might be shortcomings in the driving test. It's better than the hazard perception that there is now because that's just a waste of time. It's like a computer game just clicking. It's so easy to do. It's not only young drivers that have concerns about the hazard perception test. Of the 830 driving instructors that responded to Real Stories survey, 90% thought that the test is of little value.